Mm. I assume that even now to, to the relentless level that you collect vintage things mm. is more of you staying in your comfort zone. Yeah. I know some people like I think, uh, you know, Danger Mouse he still uses a, his first computer program he learned on. Mm -hmm. And wow. uh, I don't know if it's, what's it called? Acid? Or acid. Like acid, yeah. God, yeah. he uses wow. acid too? I think so, yeah. And, um, I haven't used acid in like yo, 15 years. But he, okay. told me, he told me it's not worth the time to relearn it all on a new thing. You might as well just stick with what he started with. And that might have something to do with it too, uh, learning on tape by myself. Because nobody taught me how to do it really. I had to really just sort of sit and learn how to do a four track reel to reel with a mixer myself. That maybe kind of gets you in love with the mechanical nature of it. But also, as the years went on, whenever I got a chance to A, B it, like we would record on a tape and then we would bounce it to Pro Tools and I'd bounce and listen to them back and forth. You know, I'd say, God, I guess can't say, I can't help it, man. The, the, the tape sounds more soulful. It has whatever it has, that movement. All mechanical things have this movement that they add little wobbles and warbles to what's happening. And that, and that maybe kind of comes off as soul or soulfulness to the listener. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but um, it, it just feels alive to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's not... We got a plug him. in for that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but see, that's the thing. I'm, I'm hoping now a guy like me has to work with computer technology yeah. simply because uh the the small confined space that i'm in doesn't allow for of course you yeah. know the a lot of these things that you're using yeah. is, you know, and it's expensive to, you know so a lot of don't, a lot of people don't have access to it so young, younger kids too. so i'm hoping that one day like someone just invents the plugins because i spend uh, at least hours trying to uh lower the quality of the sound of things that I record to on. To make it sound. To make it sound yeah. like it's beat up and used or whatever. Have yeah. you put plugins next to Real to Real Jack and listen to them? Do you, do you Yeah, you they are doing plugins now with, or imitating the warble of tape yeah. and that those little squiggles and that tiny little mechanical, you know, sort of flaws to the mm -hmm. tape machine and uh, making a plug-in and, and running it through that. I know a lot of people record on Pro Tools and run it through a tape machine mm -hmm. in the back, which is kind of a cool technique as well. But at, the, any, at any rate, any time, whether it's reverb or compression or that kind of program, every single one of them is an emulation of the real thing. Yeah, I, I get into being sort of the poster boy, like I'm always preaching to, for people not to use this stuff. I'm really not. Yes, I, mean, I know. People are just asking me, I feel how guilty. do you do it? You know, how do you do it? And I say, well, this is how I do it. And it's sort of like, what amp do you like? If you listen to a tube amp and you mix it to a, next to a solid state amp, you say, it's pretty good, but it's not like the tube amp, you know? I was going to say, you um, also edit your own uh, tapes, correct? Yeah, we. This album I just put out is the first time I ever edited on Pro Tools uh, a whole wow. album. So that um, uh, before that, it was all just razor blade tape and razor blade edits. So it would keep it another kind of way to kind of confine things to keep it really simple, so they didn't get too complicated. But this album, so it wasn't just to challenge yourself, as in like, okay, well, I conquered that, and let me try to force myself to do a, a, a new way of recording. It was sort of out, out, out of necessity. I mean, there was a lot of modern techniques being used in the album and that was that was one of them, but it was definitely out of necessity for recording with bands here in New York and, and LA and in Nashville. I'd have, you know, 18 to 20 tracks, which for me was a ton. I usually only record on eight track. The only way to possibly do it was to edit on Pro Tools. You know. Okay. Did you lose my vocal? Seemed like it went on with the headphones. Oh. I don't know. It's all right. He's engineering right now, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is all going to tape for sure. Yeah. <laughs>